Hi gamers, I'm Cyrus Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. So if you remember the last video I was uh, making these um, modules to create a space station or um, yeah, or a base in a, an asteroid or moon and um, something occurred to me because I, I find this, um, I was showing this um, connect connection like these uh, connection rings here uh, that will uh, you can connect uh, two of these like a docking port and they will transfer power and also items and this is very useful in the past I've used the unmergeable blocks for that and I was thinking after we made this um, node module that has an airlock um, integrated into it I was thinking what if um, we could have well this node module can serve as a docking port right in fact um, it's like a, a um, it could be at, at the let's say at the end of, of a station a space station and then you could have like three ships docked into it with three docking ports available for ships to dock in it and then I was thinking what if we create a ship that could dock with these ports how it would, lo would look like <laughs> and I thought that I could uh, do something similar uh, yeah if, if we could do something similar um, as the um, uh, li like the Eagle Transporter um, principle and the, and the Lunar Transporter principle but with these uh, things so let, let me show you what I mean so the first thing is let's let's make a, a base uh, where to build that's enough now let's paste this um, module let's begin with this one right oh I think I missed it because my my um, perspective is not that good okay so let's try it again Great. So let's say we have um, this here, right? Now, this is, um, let's say that this is uh, a docking. Yeah, this is, this, this, let's, let's say that this is a, a ship, right? And this would be the front of the ship. This was my, my thought. We would have this as the, as the front of the ship we can get rid of that one we won't need that one and we won't need um, this one as well and we won't need that door and we won't need that door so this part here in the middle is um, it's an airlock right okay so the ship this this will be the front of the ship and the ship connects with the mm, with the port with the station uh, using this port right here okay okay everything clear and now what i uh, would do let's place a block here maybe we won't need this later um, but the next thing I thought is okay now what do we need we need um, we need something to stabilize well the first thing is is the the, the, the bridge I would put not a bridge but the cockpit I would put a cockpit here 
I will try to put a cockpit here. This will be gone as well. Um, because let's see if we can pull pull this trick. Um, the thing is the following. We need two things, guys. We need one thing is to to have um. To have uh, a way to control the ship and we need thrusters so I need R RCS thrusters and the RCS thrusters I will do it with a NASA mod so yeah I would do this right but I don't know if to do it here or to do it there I think if we do it there, the issue is that, yeah, there's not enough space. You can always get rid of this and this, and then we will have that, right? So let's see where this goes. This is a, another design session, so bear with me. And now what we need is in fact this could we could have a, a conveyor block here right let's have a conveyor block here and then in the front we will have a cockpit i would have a cockpit like this Okay, but that's, um, no, that's not exactly uh, the way, but we will need another one. Let's see, there. And then the cockpit. So there. That looks better. And, uh, yeah, here as well. NASA mod and the RCS. I really like this RCS. So there we go. That is what we have now. Yeah, another way to do this is, of course, with this. Um, how it's called? Uh, the There are like these armor blocks that um, that um, have like these ion engines on them, but I like the like these clusters um, NASA mod thing. So let's go with this design first. Here, can we put? Well, I don't know if this is. Yeah, this doesn't look that great. I don't know, this this cockpit here, I don't know what it should um, have in the front. Well, let's leave it like that at the moment. Okay, so we have the cockpit and we have like these um, things. At the bottom we should have something uh, symmetrical, so we need those things uh, at the bottom as, as well. Okay, here. Uh, so oh okay I don't know if we can still have the what is that now yeah right okay but we have more freedom uh, we don't need to have uh, the the. We can think about this later. Because we have more freedom when it comes to uh, placing the the the, uh, the air vent. So let's do it symmetrical for now. And where is the next thing? 
we can change everything uh, so and the nasa mod again um, we have the rcs cluster Ah, no. yeah, that's that's enough. We can complete that later. But this one... We need this. And the other one, and the other one. There. So now it's symmetrical, right? Now it's symmetrical. Okay, what's the next thing now? The next thing we need is to have the uh, propulsion systems. Yeah, we could have it uh, in different ways. One way is to put directly the cluster here or we could have um, pots like uh, with the Eagle Transporter. But let's go with something uh, slightly different. Okay, let's do it like this. Uh, and here, this one should be um, a normal block. Okay, like that. Let's try this design first. We can change it later. But uh, for now, let's do it like that. Uh, because we later on, we could decide that we will have pots in the sides instead the, the the pots in the side what what they do is that they will um, they can hold extra extra systems but I I'm not sure that we need them in fact because this just makes everything bigger and what we need here is just the RCS so let's put the RCS uh, here and here by the way, this RCS is very expensive. With uh, doing it with uh, with this, um, how's called uh, doing it with ion thrusters. They are very expensive. It's cheaper if it uses um, hydrogen. Ah, well, this this one uses hydrogen, I think. But, yeah, the problem is that it's not for this type of, of uh, it's just like a regular engine. And the other possibility is using like the, the normal, these ones, right? This is the other possibility. We could, at the end, we could just, yeah, probably it's cheaper. Yeah, because these these ones are, are really expensive. The so one thing could be yeah, I just remember it's really expensive, and there's no reason why. I mean, I I I'm not sure what. It's like a it's like some game. Um, Balancing, like the game tries to balance the fact that you don't need fuel. And the way it balances it is making this... Um, ah, you know what? The way it balances it is making uh, the 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 thrusters themselves be very expensive and by expensive what I mean is that they require platinum and um, gold so for example the, the lunar transporter is um, 
relatively expensive like it I had to grind um, a lot in the survival game to make it work this is <sighs> I hate this look at this it's so big but I think I will I will stick to this for the moment because the other option is to have the NASA ones the NASA ones but it's also not looking really good and in in real life like these thrusters are not that um, big ah these are the other ones <laughs> well look at that I mean no I refuse to do this I mean the best the best are these ones they are they are like the smallest and they make more sense but they are so expensive at the same time but if we use the these ones then I think we don't need any more propulsion like there's no more propulsion needed because these these uh, things can they can be used um, to propel the ship anywhere they are ugly but they are cheap and they are powerful that's the other thing like the the, the ion thrusters they don't have uh, that much power I know what did we say this one right this one it looks better so that one is connected to the to the network to the piping system there we go okay once we have this we will we will mirror this design um, at the back in fact uh, but now what we need is to have um, We need here something to... Because the, 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 the idea is the following, right? The, uh, we will have two of these. One, this is the front one and one at the back. And in the middle, you know that we have like this superstructure stuff going on. But um, in the middle, we will have like this same interface and then uh, we can interchange modules but instead of using um, all this system of the like instead of using merge blocks um, we will use these rings and the, and the cool thing about this is that you can have um, it allows for passageway like you can you, you we can have like a passenger module uh, that can use the the docking like the 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 airlock and the docking port to to go into the station you know that's that's the idea but now we need um, We need now a way to um, to connect these things. Yeah, like like the following. Uh, wait a second. How can I do this? I don't know which block is this. But basically, what I want to do is this. like a base there right 
Well, it doesn't ha even have to be this one. We can use the industrial. I, I like this industrial design. We can have it in, like, um, yeah, some sort of. Like this, right? Like the super structure here. And then, um, yeah, like that. So this will, this will be the structures that will keep the ship together. And I want what the other thing I want to do is to have the, um, a passageway here. Can we have that? Ah, yes. Uh, just a passageway, right? It's just a pass. Uh, we could we could even connect these two things with a passageway. Oh, that would be cool. Which passageway should we use? The vanilla. These are very cool, but the problem with this is, uh, well, we could use those because let's see, we can use the l like the one with the light. This this one has a light, so that's cool, and then we can even use. Um, some windows which uh, this one has windows look but of course our view will be um, obstructed by these um, connectors Unless we do a little trick here, and that is, well, we could do that as well. Where is the trick? The trick is in the. Um, in these blocks. Ah, but we cannot, right? We cannot do that. Oh, no, we can. Yeah, like this. Look. So, yeah, that's in that way we won't have obstruction. Just a little bit of obstruction, though. What do you think? Now, this one here. So, about the length. How how long you could say okay, the 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 the, the cargo area here will be the same as um, as this module, but what I am planning to do is that you could use this uh, to also have cargo in it, and if we have cargo, then um, we need. You will see. Uh, we will need one block. One block will be for the interface because this interface measures exactly one block long and then three more blocks for the cargo and another block for the interface. So that's the whole length. That's the whole length. If we want to carry at least one, um, like if we want to have like the effective um, volume that we can carry uh, things as three by three by three that's that's the rule that's the rule so let's finish this part and now yeah we have that so yeah the end is is five and the next is another one of these uh, but here we will have um,
that one. Right? And this one again. And yeah, basically that's it. So we arrive to the other to the other section. So this will be like the like the loading area here. And of course, uh, we will have to place some uh, some type of floor, right? Uh, this we can do with because I wouldn't. I, I we cannot place like a, a, a not even a half a block, but we have to achieve this with um, with this catwalk stuff. Either the catwalk or the um, or the or the panels, but I, I think I prefer this. There. We could even have this completely symmetrical, and we can have another cockpit at the, at the back. That would be. A, kind of cool because um, yeah you could just switch you know like these uh, trains right like some sort of uh, train system where you have um, where you have two cockpits and you can just reverse without um, yeah, like being completely symmetrical. What I'm looking for now, I'm looking for the for the passageway, and we will alternate this between a light and a um, window passage. So that one is light, and then. window and another window and another light here right well we could later on we could decide something different but for now I will do it like that because this po this section is only used for like uh, traveling from one end to the other well one thing is of course uh, by doing this we are cutting off the yeah that's that's a little bit um, unfortunate like we're cutting off the, the the cockpit from the rest of the ship uh, one thing I thought about is that we could have some way of um, communicating the cockpit the cockpit with the rest of the ship that would be cool uh, we could do that in the back at the end yeah so not having right uh, like the completely symmetrical this is a way to do it yes not completely symmetrical but at the at here at this point we can have um, There's this T junction. And the corner. Okay. Or we could just have. Um, how, well, how do we do this? Okay, because probably the best way is just to have um, some stairs. Some, not stairs, but ladder, like a ladder. But how do we achieve this? Because we are not... Oh, that's curious. So we could have something like this. Yeah, but we, we have to cover it at the end as well.
a symmetry angle or uh, axis, uh, sorry. And T. No. Okay, for the next time. Because all, th all these things is symmetrical, right? All these things is symmetrical. So there, we will have another one like that. And at the bottom, I think at the bottom it will be like this. Um, where is it? There we go. Okay, for now, let's keep it, let's leave it like that. Okay, but at least the, um, the thruster, um, thrusters are defined, how we are going to work with the thrusters. Also defined is, um, How long this should be? And where the cockpit is placed? Yeah, the next thing would be uh, we we have to figure out what to do with uh, with the interior of each block, right? Because there, there's now a lot of space that we can use to, to have different um, systems uh, like life support and everything else. Yeah, so and this this one is uh, is. Uh well, let me finish the other side. Right, and then... Basically, it's um, a conveyor. And another conveyor. Right? And then, um, yeah, the, the other type of com industrial conveyor. Yeah, and this is, you see, with this system, we don't need any impulse engines. I mean, extra impulse engines, because the these thrusters are perfectly suitable for impulse. So yeah, it's you can say that it's um, it's ugly. Well, we're not finished yet, but yeah, it's like a it's like a chubby um, vehicle, but it's very um, I think it's very what's it called um, versatile is the word. I think we should have all these things empty inside. What do you think? Like having the whole thing emptied out, like all these blocks, and only placing, like making it from scratch then. Because I feel like now we have to fiddle around with with what we have already. But if we make the these uh, two uh, giant pots empty, then. Um, we're good to go. We, like we we can decide um, with a in a like a, in a better way what to put because we will need like o oxygen tanks. That's that's clear. We will need hydrogen tanks. 
Yeah, so yeah, a bunch of hydrogen tanks. And probably we will need um yeah, I don't know if we should have um generators. Because if at the end if we have enough uh, tanks, we don't need generators. I mean this thing won't be like um, mining ice to um, you know what I mean like this thing won't be looking for ice to, to, to to create fuel from that Or we could have it, I don't know, like... If we really um, want to use this vehicle as uh, something else... Well, that's it, right? Ah, yeah, so here at the back we can put another of these things. There we go. It's pretty much like a train. Here now now let's let's look at this. Let's look at this. What should we have here? Let's cover, first let's cover uh, this area, make it like the other one. And the next thing is that we should just empty everything. Like this. There we go. We're almost done with this one. I think that's basically it. Now we can just empty the interior. And yeah, think it through. Um, of course, these, these doors, um, we will always have the doors, I think. In the, at least in the... Just behind the ring. We, we, we will always have these kind of doors. Can we place the door even if, um, let's see, because if we take down, yeah, we cannot, or, ah, uh, yes, we can, uh, that's nice, because then we know that we can just uh, place the doors, like this, there we go. Now we can empty the air this area, I think. Is it is there any danger to do it? Yeah, uh, as long as this is holding here, I think there's no danger. But anyways, let's copy it just in case. Let's copy this just in case something bad happens. Okay, so yeah, that's the that's the oxygen right there, and the oxygen. This is a generator. This is the oxygen. 
okay this goes to the yeah right so we currently we i think we don't need that one let me see something uh okay and then this one is connected to the cockpit these two um these two conveyors we cannot we cannot um yeah we cannot change this the, these two conveyors are needed for the for the cockpit these two here so and probably here is the same right we have a conveyor here okay and then okay that's fine Um, yeah, we will need something there. Okay, these two, we cannot move them. These two here. And then this other one is like the central thing. That's not doing anything. But we are still not connected to anything. Well, we are connected. No, I'm wrong. Well, we are connected already to this one. That's that's fine. That is fine. But then um, the question is, how are we going to connect? There we go. We will come back, uh, I will show you uh, what's the solution, but you can see, uh, yeah, we have something going on here, I think this is a good um, idea, and uh, yeah, what I was saying before about the, because here you can, you can talk like a passenger, um, passenger, what is it called? Um, module right and the good thing about the passenger module is that you can go through it right um so you don't need uh like with a with a old eagle transporter you you had to go uh, to uh space like like s to the vacuum to get to the module that is in the middle but if this if this works um, with these rings, then you won't have to do that. Like you can have access to uh, the ship, the interior of the ship and the interior of the module, whatever it is, without having to go to the vacuum. Um, also, yeah, what I want to do is to if we if we have um, a container like a contain like a cargo module, we will use this, right? We will use this. Uh, but this, let's see if we can place it here as an example. No, it won't let. Ah, yes, it lets me. If we do something like this, you see that. Um, yeah, you see that we have just enough space to put the the docking ring, so we can transport cargo. But uh, but there's an issue with this one, and it is that let me see, we are we are not going to be able to um, maybe we we need a little bit more space. Oh yeah, look, because I think we cannot like this, right? But we need to connect those those uh, cargo um, things with uh, with this one, unless yeah, there's an alternative, of course. Ah, yeah, I know what we can do. So we can instead of placing one, we place two, and then in the middle we have like um, all the conveyor systems. 
Yeah, we could do that. And still, yeah, and still we have a corridor. That's the thing. No, it's fine. It's fine. I think we can do this. So, but this, I will leave this for the next episode once I figure out. Um, I will show you what, at the end, what I come up um, with this empty, now empty uh, modules. But it's looking good, guys. I, r I really like this approach. Um, yeah. Although it's <laughs> maybe it doesn't look so pretty, but let's see what decoration we can have. How uh, how we can improve the <laughs> the look of it, but it's functional. Like it's a really powerful ship. Okay, guys. So I hope you um, like the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.